Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right video. Today is all about the Haas Wheelho, which I have sitting right here. Love this guy. And I'm gonna be talking all about the different attachments that you can get for it and the different ways that you can use them. And I'll be showing you with the tool exactly how each one of them works and some of the different techniques you can use to get the most out of each tool. So the first tool that I'll show you guys today is the oscillating hoe here. This is an eight inch hoe and I believe that they have them in four inch, eight inch and 12 inch. They are quarter inch steel, so insanely strong. The blade itself is uh, a high carbon steel so it's going to hold an edge really well and be really strong for you. Um, it's also thin so that it can slice through the ground real easily. So this is a heavy duty implement for getting out weeds. Anything very, very strong, this thing is just gonna rip it out. The way I'm using this is to take out grasses and things in my pathways or around the perimeter of my market garden. Um, or other areas that just have real heavy weed pressure. Next up, these are called sweeps. And this is actually the reason that I got the wheel hoe is because I saw Ben Hartman, the lean farmer, using these to take out his salad mix beds. And typically what I've done before is just use a scuffle hoe to take out the entire bed. And you know, that was a lot of work. It was a lot more effort on my body. The wheel hoe, you're using your arms, your chest, and your legs to drive it forward and remove the crop residue. So it's also sped up the time it takes for me to clear a bed um, using these. So what's really great about these is that they go, they slice right underneath the roots and, roots and then pop up the plant. So it's really easy to go back with a rake and just rake them up or knock off the dirt and throw them in your bin to take to your compost pile. And then as far as keeping the edge on the blades, you can get the wheel hoe success kit and um, so that you can keep your tools really sharp and nice. And it comes with a sanding sponge and linseed oil to help maintain the wood on your tool as well. When you buy a wheel hoe, the single or double or the high arch wheel hoe, you're gonna get these cultivator teeth. So they ship with four cultivator teeth. This is a tool that for me being a, a no or low till farmer, um, I try to avoid using tools like this because I'm not trying to break apart the soil very often or unless I have to. And the soil that I have now on my farm, it's three years into it. So it's incredibly rich and soft and uh, it doesn't take much effort to replant a bed anymore. I just dump compost on plant into it and just keep moving. It's used for cultivation. So you're trying to break up the soil. Maybe you have real hard dirt or clay or um, you know, hasn't rained in a long time and the ground is kind of frozen up. This is a way that you could unlock the ground. So to me, this is a tool that you would use when your soil is not as healthy earlier on in the development. So I'll show you guys how I'm using this to mix in compost and other amendments. Let's say you don't have a tilther um, and you want a way to incorporate that material deeper under the ground. Well, the cultivator teeth are one option for that. The other option is a similar tool and these are called winged sweeps. So they're very similar to the cultivator teeth, but they have welded on these wings with a sharp edge and this little wing piece that comes up. So as you're driving through the ground, the grass will hit, uh, hit the edge here, and then the weeds will just be pulled right out or cut. So this is a tool that will dig in and have a little bit more bite into the ground as you're pushing it. I like this one even better than the cultivator teeth for mixing in and incorporating organic matter or amendments. I thought it worked really well for that. I would use this one in a situation where you've got some weeds that you need to take out, plus you want to cultivate the ground as well. Whereas these, the cultivator teeth won't take out as much weeds, um, but they are going to rip up the ground really well for you. So overall, I'm, I'm extremely happy with getting the sweeps and the oscillating hoe. And you know, for me, for what I want to use this tool for, I'm using these guys all the time the oscillator and the sweeps and it's just really made my bed prep a whole lot easier on me and it's made it more efficient 
If you'd like to buy any of Haas's high quality Made in America tools, I've got a link down in the description uh, that if you click it, it's a way to help support the channel and uh, just get some really fantastic things for your garden or your farm. They've got seeds, uh, lots of different uh, tools, even more attachments than this for the wheel hoe. They have like a hiller if you want to use that for doing potatoes. Um, just a, a fantastic amount of things that are all high quality and, and that's why I reached out to Haas Tools to try to work with them. Uh, some of you already know Haas and or have Haas Tools yourself so you know what I'm talking about. They're just an awesome company and uh, Travis, if you go to Haas Tools YouTube channel, Travis has all these awesome videos about how to use their tools and just really good general gardening advice. Um, so go and check that as well. I'll put a link down in the description to the Haas Tools YouTube channel as well. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I uh, hope you learned a little bit about some different tools that might help you out in your garden or your farm and make your operation a lot more efficient and just easier on your body. Having the right tool is just super important. And this is one that for me is incredibly worthwhile and one that I'm always gonna have in my tool lineup going forward. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you wanna receive notifications of when all my videos get uploaded or when I go live, because I do live videos a couple times a month showing you guys what I'm doing out here, just step by step and um, totally unedited. Uh, check out all the links down in the description. I've got links to Drip Depot, True Leaf Market, uh, all these amazing companies that I've reached out to to work with so that I could recommend the best companies that I personally use to get my seeds and tools from. Um, it's a way that you guys can help support the channel while, while getting the best equipment and seeds available.